parents and good morning children welcome to standard 3 mathematics class today we will do chapter 6 fractions first let us learn what is numerator and denominator the number above the line in a fraction is numerator and the number below the line is denominator so in 2 by 3 2 is numerator and 3 is denominator the same way in 5 by 4 5 is numerator and 4 is denominator write in words 2 by 5 that will be written as 2/5 One by seven, one seventh. The fractions with five as denominators. You all know the number below the line is denominator. So here three by five, nine by eleven, two by five, three by eight. Here two numbers are with five as denominators. That. Three by five and two by five. When a whole is divided into two equal parts, each part is called one half of the whole. That means one by two. Here I have shown you two examples. One out of two equal parts. A quarter or one by four. When a whole is divided into four equal parts, we say that is one by four. That is one out of four equal parts. Now write the fraction for the shaded part. We have divided the whole into five here, so that five is the denominator, and two parts are shaded. That is two. So it is two by five. Here the whole is divided into two, and one part is shaded. So that is one by two. Here the whole is divided into four, and three parts are shaded. So that is three by four. Now shade the following objects to show the fraction. First, two by five. Numerator is five, so we will shade two objects here. And this is one by three, so we will shade only one object here. Now write the fraction. Numerator seven, denominator nine. Numerator is above the line. Denominator is below the line. The same way, denominator five, numerator two. So that is two by five. Next is put the correct sign. Eight by eighteen, three by eighteen. Here eight is the bigger numerator, so eight by eighteen is the bigger fraction. Seven by nine, eight by nine. Eight is the bigger number, so eight by nine is the bigger fraction. Then eleven by thirteen, five by thirteen. Eleven is the bigger numerator here, so eleven by thirteen is the bigger fraction. Add the following: three by eleven plus two by eleven plus four by eleven. Here all the denominators are same. So we only add the numerators. That is three plus two plus four by eleven is equal to nine by eleven. The same way seven plus one by ten that is eight by ten. Subtract the following: seven by eight minus three by eight. Here also the denominators are same, so we minus only the numerators. Seven minus three is equal to four by eight. 
फोर माइनस टू बाई इलेवन इज इक्वल टू टू बाई इलेवन राइटिंग असेंडिंग मॉडल असेंडिंग मीन्स राइट फ्रॉम द स्मॉलेस्ट टू द ग्रेटेस्ट सो हियर थ्री बाई एट टू बाई एट फोर बाई एट फाइव बाई एट फाइव इज द बिगेस्ट न्यूमरेटर हियर एंड टू इज द स्मॉलेस्ट सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टू बाई एट देन थ्री बाई एट फोर बाई एट then 5 by 8 the same way here 1 by 11 3 by 11 5 by 11 and 7 by 11 write in descending order descending means from the biggest to the smallest here the biggest numerator is Ten. So we will start from ten by thirteen, then eight by thirteen, seven by thirteen, and two by thirteen. Same way here: eight by ten, two by ten, five by ten, nine by ten. Nine is the largest numerator, so nine by ten, eight by ten. Five by ten, and then two by ten. Find the following: three by nine of twenty-seven. By means to divide, so we will divide twenty-seven by nine. That is three. Then of means to multiply. Three multiplied by three is equal to nine. So three by nine of twenty-seven is nine. The same way we will divide twenty-four by six. We get four. Four into three we get twelve. Fifty divided by ten. We get five. Five into one is equal to five. So one by ten of fifty is five. Next word problems. There are seventy-two seats in a coach of a Delhi metro train. Eight eight by nine of them are reserved for ladies. How many seats are reserved? Total number of seats seventy-two. Fraction of the seats reserved for ladies eight by nine of seventy-two. So number of seats for the ladies seventy-two divided by nine is equal to eight. Eight into eight is equal to sixty-four. So. Sixty-four seats are reserved for ladies. There are four hundred students in a school. Two by five of them are girls. How many girls are there? So total number of students four hundred. Number of girls. A fraction of girls two by five of four hundred. Four hundred divided by five is eighty. Eighty multiplied by two one sixty. So one sixty girls in the school. One sixty. Out of four hundred are girls. So please revise whatever we have done today. Thank you so much, children.